us on the Going Ballistic Snowboard Show, why don't you strap yourselves in and come on an awesome ride with us? Yeah, because we've got an hour of pure snowboarding madness coming your way. Coming up in the show, a beast of action as the world's best hit our slopes for the Burton Australian Open. We profile 15-year-old hotshot Jai Carney. It's off to the movies to take a peek at a Canadian film featuring one of our top Aussies. And from the USA, we check out the biggest show on snow, the Winter X Games. All that and a whole lot more on the Going Ballistic Snowboard Show. So to kick our show off today, we're going to start with a very special event. Now, you know there is an Australian Open in golf and there's an Australian Open in tennis. But did you know there's an Australian Open in snowboarding? Absolutely. It's the Burton Australian Open, the most prestigious event in Australian snowboarding. As you would expect, of course, all the big name Aussie riders are there and a huge number of top pros as well. Now, we have a lot to show you on this event, but to get it all started, we're going to show you what it's all about. The Australian Open is the second of six events in the Burton Global Open Series, the world's most prestigious snowboard championship. Bringing the world's best riders together with our own local heroes, plus huge public exposure, it's played an important role in the development of snowboarding in Australia. Over the years, you know, we've added these Opens throughout the world, and the one here in Australia, I think we're four or five years into it now, and. I think you really see the level of riding on a local level and on an international level really step up every year and gives people the opportunity not only to see it but also participate in it and realize like this is what's going on all around the world but you don't necessarily have to leave where you are to be part of it. It's good for like up and comers and good for just everyone, you know, a result in the Australian Open is, it's, it's an Open so you're gonna, you're gonna get some coverage out of it and it's, it would be really good to, to place, you know. Featuring a half-pipe and slope-style competition, the Australian Open follows the same format as the US Open, which has been the benchmark of snowboard contests since it started over 25 years ago. While we may not have the same resources and snow conditions, the crew at Perisher Blue still managed to put on a world-class event. Uh, at other events, you know, US Open, we start from scratch and build from nothing up to what we've got there, but, you know, that's an event with a budget a lot more than what we're able to spend here in Australia so you know we'll spend two weeks building a course whereas here we've got you know two three days to pull it together. Yeah, it's run really well we don't have the the mountains really to have a crazy event you know but you know, we do what we can with what we have and I guess this is what we get from it. I like the style of the opening competitions they're like so easy setup like easy schedule it's no stress really and it's more like having fun around it. You don't really see it as a competition. Really. Anyone can enter into the Open. And with the event attracting some of the biggest names in the sport, it gives Australian snowboarders a fantastic opportunity to experience and witness top-level competition. It's definitely been cool to try and help the, the progression of the sport by bringing riders, you know, like Chaz, Torstein, Kevin, Danny, Mason, like all those guys coming into this, but it's not just about them. You know, you got Robbie Walker, Clint Allen, people like that, and the local riders get to see that their dudes can be part of it as well, so it's definitely huge for snowboarding. The 2008 Burton Australian Open saw the standard of riding down under pushed to the next level once again. Stay with us for a full wrap-up on the half-pipe and slope-style competitions. Burton have one of the biggest and best snowboard teams in the world, so we thought we'd catch up with three of its newest members when they were out here competing in the Australian Open. With riders like Sean White and Terrier Harkinson, the Burton Global team is the most respected pro team in snowboarding. To make sure they keep their reputation, Burton recently signed three new members, adding some youth to its number one squad including TTR world champion Kevin Pearce, the cool dude from Michigan, Danny Davis, and pipe master Mason Aguirre. They're three friends blowing minds all around the world. Feels good to kind of be on that top tier up at Burton now. I've been working with those guys since I've been like 15, 16, so it's, it's yeah, the relationship's good. I'm glad that me and Danny and, all, and uh, Kevin all moved up together, and it's just good to be riding and having fun and kind of be at that level. 
You know, ever since I started snowboarding when I was five, I'm 20 now, I'd all, I've always ridden Burton boards and, you know, we kind of have some history with Burton. So getting this step, you know, it's, it's always been a goal of mine and definitely a dream to be on a global team. So now that it actually happened, it's pretty exciting. It's kind of crazy, like Mason and I have been riding for Burton for a while and we kind of came up together. And then there was Danny who a couple years ago just kind of came out of nowhere, this kid from Michigan that, you know, nobody knew about and then uh, he just exploded. Mason and Kevin, uh, we ride with those dudes all year, you know, we both ride, we all ride for Burton and it's sick now that everyone's on the global team, we're just kind of going to be cruising and going to promo stuff together. and. Uh, I'm sure not much is going to change because we're always hanging out together anyway, so it should be good. These three new additions to the Burton Global team ooze talent across all areas of snowboarding. Mason with his silky smooth halfpipe skills, Kevin who can land just about any trick imaginable, and Danny who is a threat in both the park and the backcountry. But what's really amazing is they're all only 21 and only going to get better.